From 1961, WWF World Wildlife Federation has worked together the protection of endangered species. They ensure that the world we inherited will also be home to elephants, tigers, giant pandas, whales and other wildlife species. Many species around the world need our protection. But special attention is given on giant pandas, tigers, polar bears, endangered whales and dolphins, rhinos, elephants, marine turtles and great apes which are reaching extinction. Hello boys and girls. We meet again in ITTV. Thank you for watching ITTV. So what is today's lesson all about? We are going to learn about survival of species. We have got animal and plants obviously. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about survival of animals part 1. animals actually need to survive. This is because they need to increase their population and prevent extinction. So in order to do that, they have to have many different types of way to adapt to the environment around them. What is a species actually? Let's see. Species, group of living things that can breed among themselves. So what are examples of species? A species of deers. So Different deers can breed among themselves, so they are known as a species. Let's have a look at the next example of species. A species of orangutan. And lastly, a species of crocodiles. Now tell me children, do you still remember from year 4, what did you learn about how animals reproduce? They actually lay eggs and give birth, don't they? What are examples of animals which give birth and lay eggs? And what is important in this topic about reproducing? How animals reproduce? They lay eggs or give birth. Ladybird laying eggs. Now you can see in this picture how a cute little ladybird is actually laying egg under the leaf. Snakes hatching out. Cat giving birth and lastly, good giving birth. So in order to ensure species survival, that certain species have to reproduce either by laying eggs or giving birth. This is how they increase the number of their population. So how do these animals actually take care of their offspring? How animals ensure the survival of species? Every animal has a way of protecting their species, which is their young or eggs. Now, have a look at this egg. What is the feature of this egg that it actually protects the growing embryo inside of it? It has got hard shell, doesn't it? So this is how the egg is actually protecting the embryo. Let's look further. Animals which lay their eggs on land normally produce eggs which have hard shells. What are examples of those animals? The best example are chickens. Animals which lay egg in the water produce eggs in a large number at one time. This is to ensure that some of the young will remain even though some of the eggs are eaten by animals. So frogs being amphibians actually lay eggs in large amounts into the water. Why so? Because 
most of the enemies end up eating these eggs. The youngs do not even get a chance to hatch out to be adult frogs. So this is the reason why frogs lay eggs in large amount. Now, in this lesson, Survival of Animals Part 1, we are going to learn about how animals which lay eggs protect their youngs. In the next lesson, we will learn further about animals which give birth and take care of their young. Let's begin today's lesson. How animals protect their eggs? Firstly, by building nests high on trees, for example, the bird nest and the beehive. When the bird is actually pregnant with eggs, what do they actually do? They actually collect small little sticks or small little leaves and build their nests high up in tall trees. Why is that so? This is to prevent other enemies or other animals from grabbing their eggs and eating their young. So this is how birds actually build their nests high up on tall trees. The beehive is also tall on top of tall trees. Now what is in a beehive children? It is actually full of honey or nectar collected from the flowers around which bees actually collect them the honey bees or the bumblebees. Let's see further. Wrapping their bodies around the eggs or hatching them. Now which animals actually wrap around their eggs? The snakes of course. This is how the snakes after laying the eggs protect the youngs by wrapping their body around them. Next we have got hens. Now these mother hens actually after laying thousands of eggs or hundreds of eggs always sit on all their eggs to hatch them. This is how they actually protect their eggs. Next, we have animals which lay eggs in holes. Now what are they? Firstly, let's have a look at the beetle laying egg. Now how do the beetle actually protect themselves? Do you still remember what you learned in year 4? They actually pretend to be dead when the enemies are near them. This is a protective mechanism for the beetles. Let's see further about the grasshopper. Grasshopper laying eggs. Grasshopper like the beetle also lay eggs in holes. Now what or how does these eggs get protected? They are laid into holes so the enemies find it difficult to find the eggs. So the eggs actually hatch out into young offsprings. Let's see further of how animals actually protect the eggs. Laying eggs in lower part of leaves. Now the best example are the butterflies. The butterfly lays egg under the leaves. Why do they do so? This actually gives a protective mechanism for the eggs because the enemies can't see the eggs smartly hidden below the green leaves. These eggs come in different shapes and sizes, over spherical, elongated and so on. What do these eggs actually hatch out into? They hatch out into caterpillars. So further we have red ants. Red ants also lay eggs under the leaves. Do you know anything about the red ant? They are actually quite big in sizes. So remember when you remember laying eggs under the leaves about the butterfly and the red ants. Let's see further of other types of animals and how they protect their youngs. Laying eggs in egg cases and laying the eggs in safe places. Now these cockroaches that we can find in dirty places, sometimes even in our houses where part of our houses are not so clean, we can find the egg cases of these cockroaches. Now this picture here shows you an example of the egg case. Cockroaches usually lay egg in dirty places, well hidden places and dark places. Now these egg casing protects the inner part of the egg from being destroyed. Let's see further. Carrying eggs in lower part of their body. So the parent actually carries the eggs in the lower part of their body. An example of them are the prawns and the spiders. So prawn and spiders actually protect their eggs by carrying them along with them wherever they go. So let's see further of other protective mechanism of how animals protect their eggs. Laying slimy eggs in a large number. Now you can see a picture here showing you frog laying eggs and an example of slimy frog eggs. So they lay eggs in a large number and they are slimy. Why do they lay eggs in large number? I told you in the beginning of the lesson. This is because most of the eggs actually do not hatch out into adult frogs from the eggs because they get eaten by the enemies. So what do you get when 
a frog's eggs actually hatch. You get tadpoles. Have you seen tadpoles before? They actually don't really look like the adult frog. They live in the water and like the adult frog, the amphibian which lives in the water and on land. Let's see further. Lastly, we are going to see how animals protect their eggs by hiding their eggs. Now, we have got two different examples here, the snails and the turtles. Now, let me tell you something about the snail. The snail, how do they actually see? Where are their eyes located? On the tentacles, obviously. Now, what about the turtles? What makes the turtles so special? Did you know that only one in 1,000 baby sea turtles make it to adulthood? Now, the turtle actually comes ashore and lays egg into the sand and then they actually hide the eggs. Why is that so? They protect the eggs. Once the egg actually hatch out into baby turtles, these baby turtles rush quickly and reach for the beach, which is just by the site where they are laid. So, many of them actually do not make it to adulthood. Let's see further. Did you know that people like to eat green sea turtles? Now, we have got different types of species which are reaching to extinction because humans like to manipulate them. So, it is important that we take care of these animals so they do not reach extinction. Now, this is about how animals actually protect their young or the eggs. So, do you remember all of the criteria that they have and how they protect them? Let's see how much do you remember from the beginning of the lesson in the exercise segment. Question 1. How do animals ensure the survival of their species? A. By reproducing B. By killing other species C. By finding food D. By killing their young now, obviously, children, D is not the correct answer. How can they ensure species survival if they keep their young? So, what is the correct answer here? Is it A, B or C? Let's see. The correct answer is A, by reproducing. Animals reproduce by laying eggs or giving birth. The ways of reproducing for animals is by laying egg or giving birth. The main aim here is to increase the population to ensure species survival. Now, did you understand question 1? Let's move over to question 2, children. Question 2. How does the prawn protect its young? A. Laying eggs in egg cases and laying the eggs in safe places. B. Carrying eggs in lower part of their bodies. C. Laying slimy eggs in a large number. And D. Hiding their eggs. So, how do actually prawns protect themselves or their youngs? These prawns actually lay egg where and how do they actually carry the eggs? I have given you a hint here, so I'm sure you know the correct answer. Let's see further. The correct answer is B. Carrying eggs in lower part of their bodies. Now, prawns and spiders carries their egg under their body. This is how they protect their young. So, what about carrying eggs or laying eggs in egg cases? This is the cockroach, obviously. Slime, laying eggs, slimy eggs in a large amount are the frogs. Let's see further about question 3. Question 3. Which statement about the survival of the frog is true? A. The female takes care of its egg. B. The eggs are laid in a large number. C. The frog eggs can only survive on land. And lastly, D. The male takes care of the eggs. Now, let me tell you that frogs are actually amphibian. They are cold-blooded animals. Most cold-blooded animals do not actually take care of their young like the mammals, which are warm-blooded. So, the answer option A and B, the female and the male taking care of the egg, it's not correct. So, what is the correct answer, children? Is it B or is it C? Let's see further. The correct answer is B. The eggs are laid in a large number. Now, frogs lay eggs in large number. Let's see the last question for the day. How do turtles protect their eggs? A. Laying eggs with cases. B. Laying eggs high on the trees. C. Wrap around their eggs. And lastly, D. Hide their eggs. Laying eggs with cases. Those are the cockroaches. Laying eggs high on trees. Now, do you really think turtles can climb all the way 
to a top tr top part of the tree tall tree and lay eggs i wonder let's see what's the correct answer is it c d a o b it's d hide their eggs so remember that turtles actually come to the shore and lay eggs right into the sand and hide their eggs to protect their small little offspring so this is how the turtle actually protects their eggs now, i hope you've answered everything correctly in the exercise segment let's move further to see the vocabulary of the day children the first word ensure memastikan Slimy, Belinda. Now frogs lay eggs large in number and slimy. Young, Anna. And lastly, survival, Kemandirian. Now survival is the chapter or the topic for the day. Now, this was about the vocabulary of the day. I uh, hope you have remembered all these words. Let's move further to the trivia segment to learn a few interesting facts for the day regarding survival of animals part 1. How many eggs can a bird lay? All female birds lay eggs, but the number of eggs varies greatly from one kind of bird to another. For example, most seabirds lay only one or two eggs since the nests of these birds are rarely attacked by enemies. When you remember seabirds, remember they lay one or two eggs. Now what about land birds? But ducks and geese that are often visited by nest robbing creatures often lay as many as 20 eggs in a clutch in order to make sure that some of their eggs will survive. What picture is this children? It's a picture of a woodpecker. Now what are we going to talk about the woodpecker? A group of scientists once wanted to find out how long a bird will keep laying eggs to replace those that are stolen. The scientists remove an egg each day from a woodpecker nest for 73 days. And the woodpecker kept replacing the lost eggs, laying 71 eggs in those 73 days. So you have actually learned about the woodpecker and how many legs can a seabird or land bird actually lay. So this was the trivia of the day. So let's do a quick roundup of today's lesson. So do you still remember how animals actually reproduce? They reproduce by laying egg and by giving birth. How do they actually take care of their eggs? By laying them in large number like the frogs, by having a hard shell covering them like the chicken egg, by carrying their young under their body parts like the prawn, and by laying eggs in high rise places like the tall trees like birds. And we have also learned so many different things about how the eggs are being protected by the parent. So I hope that you have an idea of today's lesson. We have reached the end of the lesson, children. I will see you soon in our next lesson, which is a continuation of today's lesson in Survival of Animals Part 2. Till I see you again, take care, bye-bye, and thank you for watching ITTV.